Hi everyone, so this is example three. So it says four points, have coordinates, um, A, B, C, D. Identify the name of the quadrilateral. Right, okay. So A, B, C, D. So I've got something which is going from, we don't know what it is, do we? It could be a trapezium. A, B, C, D. There. Right. So let's have a look then. Let's have a think about it. Let's have a think about the vectors joining them. So the vector from A to B. Right, so we know that OA is 2, 3, minus 2. We know OB is 0, minus 2, 1. We know OC is 2, minus 7, minus 2. And we know OD is 4 minus 2 minus 5. So A to B, so it's second take first, so 0 minus 2, 1 minus 2, 3 minus 2. So that's going to be minus 2 minus 5, oh, <laughs> 3. Uh, if you can see that, double check that. Yeah. And then let's have a look at, let's have a look at. C to D, uh, D to C, or yeah, let's do D to C. So D to C is second letter, take the first letter. Uh, where's D gone? 4 minus 2 minus 5. So that's going to be 2. That's going to be, what's that going to be? Uh, that's going to be minus 2 minus 5, and then 3. Oh, look at these. Look at these, look. These are the same. So A to B is equal to D to C. So not only are they parallel, they're also the same length. Because it's the same numbers. If one was a multiple of it, then it would be a multiple, well, square root of a multiple bigger. So A, B, and D, C are parallel on the same length. So that's quite nice. Right, let's have a look at the other two then. Uh, so let's go B to C now. So I've done that too. So let's have a look at B to C. So B to C will be a C take B. So 2 minus 7 minus 2, take B, which is 0 minus 2, 1. So that's going to be a 2, that's going to be minus 5 plus 2 is minus 5. And 2 minus, minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. Okay, so let me double check that, make sure I've got that right. Uh, B, C, B, C, yeah. And then let's have a look at, so I've done B to C now, so let's have a look at A to D. So A to D, oops. So A to D, so D is 4 minus 2 minus 5, and A is 2, 3 minus 2. So 4 take 2 is 2, minus 2 take minus 3 is minus 5, minus 5 minus minus, that is minus 3. Oh, look at these, look. These are also parallel. They're the same, aren't they? So they're more than just parallel because they're not multiples of each other. They are actually each other. So these are parallel and the same length. There. Right. So what could we have so far then? We've got all sorts there, haven't we? Now they're the same length as each other. If you look, they're all multiples of the same numbers. So if you did Pythagoras, all these numbers are the same. So all the lengths are going to be the same. So all the lengths are the same. So I know that the, the length of AB is equal to the length of DC. Is equal to, it's all the same numbers. If I did Pythagoras, I'm going to get the same value. Uh, B to C and A to D. So potentially, 
I've got a square, but I could also have um, a rhombus. So, assuming you can draw better pictures than me, so I could have a square, or I could have, I can never remember where the H goes in rhombus. Rhombus. Right, so I've got to think now, what is it? Is it a square or is it a rhombus? So I've got to think about diagonals now. God. So within a square, my diagonals will be the same length, whereas in a rhombus, they're not. So now, so I've got A to B to C to D, I'm going to check the diagonals. So I'm going to look at A to C, and I'm going to look at B to D. And what I'm going to do is, while I work this out, I'm just going to pause it, because you can work this out, can't you? So I'm just going to pause it. Right, back with you now. So I've done the vectors joining the, um, the diagonals. If you look, just looking at the numbers, the length of A to C will be 10. So the length of A to C, using Pythagoras, will be the square root of 0 squared minus 10 squared plus 0 squared. It's going to be 10. But look at the numbers for B to D. Oops. Uh, I've got a 4 squared, a 0 squared, and a minus 6 squared. So that's 36 plus 16 is 50. Is it? No. 36 plus 52. So that's root 52. So because A to C, the length of A to C, isn't the same as the length of B to D, it must be a rhombus. That's quite a nice question. I like that question. There, there we go. Right, surely that's it. I've done about 15,000 videos for this. Oosh, it is. Is there anything else in the pack? No. We're done with vectors. That's three lessons this week. Right, well done, everyone. Bye.